now we discuss gsm localization we'll just have the learning objective of this and the gsm feature that is localization and calling that we'll be discussing about mobile terminated call mobile originated call and the message flow for mtc and moc are going to the objective once we finish this the learner will be able to show the message flow between the mtc and the moc localization and calling so we have got these terms to be understood mobile terminated call mobile originated call and the message flow between these two that is mtc and moc looking into the picture as the term tells you mobile terminated call the call ends with the mobile station so the first number is the calling station who is communicating with the P PSTN that is linked with the gateway MSE that is GMSE this gateway MSE communicates with the HLR that is the home location register to get the information about the particular mobile HLR in turn communicates with VLR VLR is the visitor location uh, register so from uh, vlr it gets information about the mobile station the roaming number of the mobile station that is msrn with that information from the vlr hlr receives that information again passes that information to the gmsc the gateway msc the gateway msc this information forwards the call to the msc msc gets the current status of the mobile from vlr again and the vlr sends information back to msc with this information msc is paging the message to all its bss the data is being passed to three bss in this example and all the bss receives this information now this information got from bss is being transmitted to all the mobile station that are connected to the bss the mobile station which has to receive the call will now respond so here the second bss has the mobile unit which has to get the information so that unit re receives the information and it responds back once the response is got from ms that information is returned back by the second bss to the msc and the connection is being set up this way any calling station will be able to communicate with the mobile station so this is a mobile terminated call next we move on to the mobile originated call where a mobile station is originating its call so when you when we see this picture the mobile station communicates with the bss to communicate with an end station the bss communicates the information to the msc msc again communicates with vlr to obtain the information of the mobile station so that information is got back by msc and that will be again transmitted to the gateway msc so as we all know the gateway msc is the point of communication to the outside network pstn so this helps in communicating the information from ms to the other network pstn so this we call it as the mobile originated call looking into the message flow for mtc and moc mtc first the bts makes a paging request the ms receives a paging request and it gives back the channel request that is required once the request is received from ms the bts immediately gives its assignment and a response is received from ms when the response is received an authentication is requested from bts and for that authentication bts gets a response from ms once the response is received a ciphering command is initiated by bts and this command is completed by ms when ciphering is complete setup starts once the setup information is received by ms the call is confirmed and the assignment command is done 
the assignment will be completed by MS. That information is received by BTS. When it is complete, another alert is given by MS and the connection is established by MS. When BTS receives the connect and it accepts the connection, it gives an acknowledge for that. Finally, we have the exchange of data or speech between MS and BTS. This is MTC. Moving to MOC, a channel request is given by mobile station to the BTS and an immediate assignment is given by BTS. Service request is given by MS and authentication request is given by BTS and a response is received. A ciphering command is initiated by BTS and that is completed by the mobile station. A setup is initiated by mobile station and that call is confirmed by BTS. Assignment command is again initiated by BTS and it is completed by the mobile station. Alerting is done by BTS for connection. Connection is done by BTS. When the connection is established. An acknowledgement is given by the mobile station. Finally, the data or speech exchange is done between MS and the BTS.